Not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure this charger just revved at me. No way. There's no way. He don't want the sauce. He does not want the sauce. He's gripping the steering wheel like he's about to go. Let's we'll see. What's up Dream Chasers? What's up Wrench Gang? Kevin Van Voorhis checking in for another video for you guys today. So happy Thursday. This week has already flown by. Um, luckily, I've got the morning off, which is nice, so I can run some errands. So the Viper is getting oil change already. I'll explain that in the Viper video. Um, real quick, this car is not mine. This is actually one of your guys's. So Misa, if you guys don't know who Misa is, since we have a lot of new subscribers, Misa is the genius who's wrapped all of my cars. So what I want to do today, this needs to get an oil change. This has two recalls that need to be done. So I need to go drive this to the dealership. I've got to move the charger. I also need to get some pictures of Project Stepchild because it is still there, by the way, in case everybody was asking if I sold it. No, I didn't sell it. I was just fucking with you guys. Uh, I got to get some pictures for Miss Curvaceous Wraps, who's the genius behind actually creating the wraps on all my cars. Um, in case you guys are curious, it's going to kind of look like that. I don't know about the colors and stuff yet. So I got some cars I got to move. I need to move this car out so I can pull the demon out and then I can pull Project Stepchild out and then that way Misa has some more room. So I need to go get an oil change on this, but I figured today's video, we're going to go over basically the last 18 months that I've owned the demon. My thoughts, is it worth it? Do I love it? Do I hate it? And uh, because some of these are going to start coming up on the market more often, um, and we'll kind of go over Dodge price or demon pricing and stuff like that, and kind of give you guys my full thoughts about the car. But first, let's move all these cars. squeeze cold start on a 2018 Dodge Demon let it warm up for a second pull this out and pull that bad boy out Wait in the world. <laughs> <laughs> A good thing I can climb in this way. All right, let's try and start this motherfucker. Yes! It lives! It's gonna have to take a little while to air up. It's alive! Leaking a little bit of oil still, nothing too much. So we gotta take some pictures. All right, so for everybody running, wondering, running, run, wondering, Jesus. I've got 6,478 miles. I actually do drive my Demon. Uh, I don't race it as much as I'd like, but our drag strip isn't the greatest. Our DA is terrible. So I've probably driven it more cross country than anything else. Um, I think this is like the fifth or sixth oil change because I did it like at 500, 1,000, 1,500, 3,000, 5,000. It's been sitting for a little bit. So yeah, I think this is the sixth one. That's pretty wild. Um, but yeah, so today we're going to go over things that I've done to it, 
Do I wish I would have done anything else? Do I regret buying it? All that good stuff. I, I owned a D I own a demon. David owns I've owned a six speed manual Hellcat. Uh, I have a Charger Hellcat right now. So I've got a good idea as far as like if you guys are curious about Hellcats or Demons or SRTs or any of that good stuff, you're going to find out some good information on this video. Get strapped in. So give them a little background of the wrap. I'm doing a 18 month ownership review of the Demon. So you're the one who wrapped it. 18 months already. I know. I know it's been a while. No, but I wrapped it like six months after you got it. When did I wrap it? I don't know. When did you wrap it? I don't know, man. My name's Jehovah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I wrapped it last uh, July, actually. Was it July? July is when it came in. Oh, okay. I couldn't remember which day it was. Yeah, it was July. Um, what do you mean background on the wrap? I don't know. Like, how hard was it? Was it easy? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was there, but they don't know. <laughs> this shit was so difficult because it's a printed wrap and we didn't print. Like, we just printed one full sheet. I feel like if I were to do this again, uh -huh. I would... Like, I actually do like a half and half. No, no, no. Um, I'm talking about the sides because of the fender flares. Oh, like, okay. I would want to wrap the fender flares separately. Yeah. Uh, that would be difficult. That would be difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Who gives a fuck, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was difficult just to get it, like, all the way into the fender flares because they do protrude a good amount. And then, oh, man, just to get everything to line up was a bitch. That was the hardest part. We had to use like a lever, laser, level, laser, level. laser level. Oh Shit, you. Jesus <laughs> Christ. We had to use one of those. So that was, I was there for that. Me and David had to help. That was hard. We did. I don't know how many times you had to redo the bumper. Cause like it would be off a little, and then we'd move it, and you'd put the bumper on, and, you'd and then like, the clear bra came off. Yeah, clear bra came off. So, yeah, that was exciting. So. Have you wrapped any more demons? No. No. How many are wrapped, actually? Like a full wrap? Yeah. Because that's. I bet you less than. Wrap. I bet you less than five. Because the taxi one's not a full wrap. Right? No. Demonologies is just decals. Mushes is not. I'm waiting for Mush to call me. I'm gonna rip that shit apart. <laughs> So we're almost at a dealership. With that being said, damn, what's this doing the Nurburgring? Though? <laughs> like, I know it's not a tight bar, Misa. I know, I know. So I figured I'd give you guys a little pull. All right, guys. So we got the oil changed. In case you guys are curious, it was ninety-eight dollars. Boy, Kevin's spending money today. So I got the Viper done, got Rachel's Jeep, which they're doing right now. I got this done. So the Viper and this together was like 280 bucks or some shit. So it's a lot of money. Shout out to my buddy, uh, Justin Roca's nice little Z over there. We do need to race the Demon versus that and the Viper versus that. He just got it tuned in a couple of mods on it so that'll be a good little race so if you guys want to see that race between like a fixed up z06 and a demon from a roll let me know and also the viper maybe too but anyway so today i want to talk to you guys kind of about so i've had the demon i was going to say viper i've had the demon for just about 18 months maybe a little more than that so it was pretty cool it got delivered obviously a lot later than i wanted to um i was like mush got his early but he actually went through a different dealership and then demonology i think got his before me too i can't remember so i ordered mine in march 
or in March. I ordered it like, and it took nine months roughly, so as much as it takes to, for a kid to be born. But I got it. The cool thing was, since it was delivered in March, all the title and paperwork, it's like on my birthday, which is March 18th. So that was cool. I love this car a lot. I didn't pay over sticker. I paid 89,000, like 500 and some odd dollars for it. I didn't pay over sticker. Um, luckily, like I've built a relationship with this dealership and I didn't have to do that. Now, the other two demons they sold, they did sell for over sticker. I don't remember what they paid, but I think it was like five or 10 or 15, it was something like that. Now there were guys paying like 50,000 over, which I would have never done. So to me, this car is a $90,000 car. Why is that? It's the fastest stock car you can buy that's not like a million dollars. Um, it's extremely fast, especially for what it is. It's big, it's comfortable, it's got cooled seats, it's got AC, it's got all the amenities like a normal Hellcat would have. It just happened to have 840 horsepower on race gas. So, do I regret buying this car? Absolutely not. Um, now, I haven't made many YouTube videos on it, and then I just don't, like, I love driving it, but I don't want to drive it every single day. And why don't I want to do that? Because I don't want to put a bunch of miles on it that I don't need to. Some people want to do that with their demons. That's cool. For me, I'd like to keep it kind of under 10,000. Right now, it's like at 6,400. So I drive it pretty often, like, not super often, but I do drive it. Um, Right now, like as it sits, I have storage insurance on it, so it's just like, it's just a stored car. Like I don't plan on driving it. It's about to be winter time here pretty soon. The tracks are gonna close anyways, and that's gonna be it. Um, next season, I plan on taking more to the drag strip. This year, I've just been too busy. And uh, like, you know, if I had better D, like if we had a better DA here and a little bit better track, I'd go to the track every weekend, but our track isn't open every weekend. Like, we don't have XRP, we don't, like, what are the other ones? Uh, like, the ones that Demonology goes to. Like, we don't have that here. Like, we have one track, it's open, like, once or twice a month, and the prep is not very good. So, for me, it doesn't make sense to bring this car out all the time. So, I take this mostly to caffeine and cars, and some car shows, and that's really about it. Um, but we have drove this to Oklahoma City, have drove this to Dallas, have drove this to Houston. It's a great car. You can get like 25 miles a gallon just cruising. Um, but yeah, stock for stock, there's nothing that can beat it. Um, I raced a couple GTRs that were pretty fixed up, like in the 800 and some odd horsepower mark in the quarter mile here. I beat them. This car like can definitely do work. These cars fixed up are nuts they are insane and trust me it's hard for me to not want to fix this up but i don't have any desire to this is the only car that i've ever bought that i was like i don't want to do anything to it so the only things that i've done to this car is window tint on the windshield too uh rock guards on all four wheels because if you have a wide body hellcat i would highly recommend getting some that way you don't fuck your paint up. And then I wrapped it, that's it. I have not done anything else to it, and I have zero, literally zero desire to do anything to this car. This car is one of the most perfect cars in a stock form that I've ever drove. Um, like I don't, I, don't, I don't need to fix it up, like it's fast. It is extremely fast for what it is. Not even for what it is, it's fast period. Like. From pump gas to race gas, there's a huge difference. Like, I know it's only 40 horsepower, but I'm telling you on the street, even in the quarter mile, like, it's a big ass difference. You definitely feel that extra 40 horsepower. Um, oh, the other, yeah, okay, I guess the other thing. So, this car didn't come with the red seat belts, like the red demon seat belts. Those are from Speed Logics. I know everyone's like, eh, Speed Logics is whatever, but these are official, like, Mopar seats, uh, seat belts. And then um, also this little demon harness bar back there, which that's you had to go through Speed Logics for that. So that's the only thing that I added, and I really wanted to do that. Oh, and the uh, back seat delete. So those are the things I took out. I ordered mine with a back seat just because in the future, if someone offers me like 150 or 200 thousand dollars, I might sell this. You never know. But 
for me, I'm probably not gonna sell it because my name is on the damn car. It was built for me. This is one of the coolest things. Like me and Rachel got to go to the Demon release uh, in New York when they released it. I was like, holy shit. And then just being a part of the whole thing and ordering it and all, and all that fun, it was just a lot of fun. So um, what are some things that I dislike about it? <laughs> It's not that I dislike anything about the car, but the problem is when you drive a car like this, everybody, everybody, it doesn't matter if the car like is an eight second car, they want to race the demon just so that they can say they beat a demon. It doesn't matter what it is. Any car that's fixed up or stock, they want to race the shit out of you. And when they beat you, they're gonna put it on social media and I'll be like, well, it's a stock demon. I'm like, yeah, it's like a twin turbo Mustang, for example, right? Well, it's not really in the same ballpark. You know what I mean? You gotta race for stock for stock. And uh, yeah, that's I that's the biggest pet peeve I have. And that's like, honestly, why I never wanted to take this to the drag strip here is because I'm never gonna run a nine, nah, nowhere even close. The fastest I ran was a 10.9. And uh, I was really happy about it because the DA here is terrible. Like it literally adds a second to your time or it could. Shout out to the police officers. Oh boy, look at that. Oh, we're gonna give him a ticket. Look at that. Jesus, they just, they want it. They wanna give me a ticket. Look at them, they do, they really do. So, anyways, that's just the one thing that I hate about it is like everybody, okay, there's two things. That was one, everybody wants to race you is the first one. The second one is I wish Dodge would have went a little differently about the 965. When you claim, like when a, any car company claims like a quarter mile time or horsepower or whatever, people are gonna check it. I think they shouldn't have done a 965. Like running a 965 in a stock car is crazy. Now did they do it? Yes. What DA was it? probably negative 1500, negative 1800, something like that on the best prep track. That is, I think that's the only real issue I have is the way Dodge advertised it. Now, I'm not saying this car's not fast, absolutely. In real reality, you could run this car in good DA without a problem and run like a 98, 985. I've even seen in person at Houston, I think a guy was running a 971 it's a fast ass car. There's no stock car that like does that at all. So to me, I think they should have either up the horsepower a little bit or put a little bit different tire on it. Cause like, I think the Nittos, they're not as good as Mickey Thompson's. I'm sorry, they're not. Um, so I don't know. I think Dodge should have went about it a little differently. But as far as that goes, this car is fucking awesome. I love it. I'm blessed to be able to like own one I didn't even, like, this was not on my dream car list, as you guys know, like, the Viper is my dream car. This wasn't on the list because I didn't even know they were going to come out with it or exist. So, it's cool. It's numbered. My name's on it. It was built for me. I don't know. Like, it's fucking awesome. I can go to any car show, any track event, and no matter what, even in 10 years, people are like, dude, that's a fucking demon. And that's what I think is cool about it. You know, Hellcats are getting more and more out there. Even red eyes are getting out there, but they don't make demons anymore. And I think that's the cool part about it. That's the cool factor. And now some of you guys don't like the rap. I don't really care. If I wanted to ask your guys' opinion, I would ask, but I don't. It's my car on a rabbit high want. I want to be obnoxious. The car's obnoxious. So I haven't even done a muffler delete on this thing. I think this car is perfect. Rachel can drive it. David drove it. My mom's drove it. Like it's an awesome car. But when you want that power to be there, it's gonna be there. So I'm gonna grab some lunch at Chick-fil-A and I figured, you know what? Let's do a couple pulls on the highway. That way this video is not super fucking boring, right? Boy, cops are everywhere today. Shit. All right, they're going that way, cool. Jesus Christ. Too many cops today. Too much sauce. Do a little pull on the street for you guys, even though I'll get no traction. But you know what? Fuck it. This is for you guys. So, any cops? Any cops? No, I think we're good. Spin, 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 spin city. Do 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 do. Do 
little pull. Little pull after this little turn here. Oh my god, I'm in a challenger. Can I take a turn? Ah! Oh, thank god. I was nervous there for a second. Oh, come on. Let me do a pull. Woo. I'm telling you, this car is stupid. It really is dumb. Let me see if I can do a pull over here. Hold on. Hold on. Relax, people. Chill, chill, chill. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Anybody? Ooh. Getting on it. And then we break real hard. Shout out to these ladies picking up trash. All right, that's it for today's video though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys are looking at Hellcats, Demons, Red Eyes, just go out and buy one, man. I'm telling you, you won't regret it. They're fucking awesome cars. And uh, you can do a lot with them nowadays. You got plenty of companies that do a lot of things with the new cars. So if you guys are interested in a Hellcat, go get yourself one, man. Um, if you guys are looking for demons, there are a couple for sale, but just know you're gonna pay like 125. I've even seen one, a couple at Meekum just went for 185. So they're still going for a pretty hefty price. And I think this is about the time where the prices are gonna start to rise. But anyways, thank you guys for watching today's video. I'm gonna grab some lunch. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your Thursday. I'm gonna eat, go back to work, work out. I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video. We got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of big stuff coming. Thank you guys for always supporting. My name is Kevin Van Boris. I'm out this bitch.